Hello everyone, Steve Siebel back with publicspeakersblog.com, Tallahassee, Florida. Here's my question for you today as a, as a professional speaker or aspiring or emerging professional speaker. What is the purpose of your speech? In other words, why do you want to speak? Why do you want to why do you want to deliver the speech you're delivering? Here's why I ask the question, because we get about roughly 3,000 calls per year, every year for almost 20 years now, uh, from people calling in for speaking advice. Most people are that, that are either attending the Bill Gove Speech Workshop in the future or want to attend or are interested in attending. So they call the office, and about 75% of the people that call in, according to our staff, say... The reason I want to, my purpose, the reason I want to speak is because I want to tell my story. I want to tell my story. And, of course, there's nothing wrong with wanting to tell your story. Here's the problem with it, though, as a professional speaker. Who's going to pay for it? Now, some stories, they'll pay for it, right? If you just climbed Mount Everest with one arm behind your back, someone may pay for that. Okay, uh, if you just won the Super Bowl and, and caught the winning uh, touchdown, someone may pay for that story. But if it's an everyday story, if it's a story of struggle, if it's a story where you know you you've struggled somehow in your personal life, you're an alcoholic, or you were a drug addict, or you were in prison, or something like that, chances are there are exceptions, rare exceptions, but chances are they won't pay for that story. Now, if you can turn that story into a benefit. For, a, for an organization, a company, an association, an individual or a group of individuals, if you can turn a story into a real benefit that they can quantify or they can or they will at least buy, then you have a chance of selling that story. But just selling a story for the sake of a story, it's a good idea, it's a nice idea to share with people. Can it change people's lives? Sure. Will an organization pay for it? Rarely. Rarely. Unless you can turn it in to a benefit. Okay, people say to me all the time, I say, what is it, mental toughness, critical thinking, it seems complex, what is it that, that you actually do, Steve, with companies? It's very simple. We help companies increase sales. Along the way, we help them develop their people. We help them develop their people, which helps them increase sales. That's it. That's really the bottom line benefit. Now, there's a lot of means to that end, but that's the end, and the end is what they pay for, not the means. It's not just the stories, it's not just the fun, it's not just being a professional speaker and dazzling the crowd with your words or, or your, you know, your vocabulary or your great platform prowess. It's not that at all. It's the benefit they get. So if you just want to tell your story and you've got a hard luck story and you want to go out and share it with people to change lives, do it for free. Just go out there and do it for free because a lot of people could benefit for it. But if you want to do it for money, if you actually want to get paid, you're going to have to have a real benefit besides people just hearing your story to make it saleable. Because this is a business. Remember, this is not a hobby. This is a business. So if you want to sell this, especially for the kind of fees we charge as speakers, if you want to sell this at that level, you're going to have to have a benefit, a real benefit besides just telling your story. So it's something to think about. Again, not, not to minimize how important your story probably is. It's very dramatic. It's a story of overcoming probably, of inspiration. Fantastic. Go tell it all over the place. But don't usually you don't get paid or don't get paid very much at least to just tell a story. You have to have a benefit, a real benefit for an organization in order to pay for it. Something to think about. So I'm Steve Siebel for the Public Speakers Blog in Tallahassee, Florida. Thanks for watching. See you next time.